a build I'm about to start doing. It's um, the Zeta Science is the brand. It's a FX61 Phantom. It's a fixed wing. Um, looks like an, quite a. It's quite a big plane. It's about one 1.5 meters in wingspan. Um, all uh, all foam. Um, I'm going to set this one up for a long distance flyer. That's the plan. But this build will just be the basic build as I got it in the kit, which is just for the ESC motor and the servos. Um, this is my first build, so I'm quite excited about this just to give it a shot and watched a few videos on certain things to what what's what best to do with them with this particular plane and little weaknesses that they say. I've got carbon carbon fiber spars going through the wings fairly decent size the build looks really nice the foam is in is very nice it's solid it looks like it'll take a fair impact uh, it comes with uh, the ESC is Emax it's a 50 amp ESC that came with it I've, I've noticed that varies with the kit I guess it depends where you are the servos Emax as well two servos you get um, in this kit here you get all your mounts as well the motors also in there um, motor I'm not too sure about it's a brand I haven't heard of before so we'll see how that goes whether I swap that out time will tell uh, you got extervo, servo extension cables to fit into the cockpit from the wings that's the motor mount uh, the kit doesn't come with any glue, so you've got to go and buy that. I've bought a, this didn't come with it either, this is a long range, I've got an LR9, L9R, sorry, uh, Free Sky receiver. It'll be hooked up to a Tyrannus X9D. Um, I'll probably modify that eventually too. I'm looking to try and get this one as a real long range flyer eventually. So this is the instruction book. Uh, fairly basic instructions. It looks like an easy build. And the first step I'm going to look at doing is um, just sorting the servos out in the wings, basically. Um, the plastic ends on the wings are already glued on as part of this kit. This is a and PNF kit. So some things are already on. And I've also done a few little mods too, which I'll bring to light as we go through this after watching a few videos um, had a little a few little tips on what to had what to strengthen and what to look out for during this build so I'll share that with you along the way as well so we'll get the first servo out and glue that in place and fit the control horn onto that as well. Now the servo horn that was in the bag there that fits onto the um, flap, it's, I'm gonna strengthen that because I've found a, found a few little tips as a, and that's a, I've been told is a bit of a weak point in this build. With the glue it can easily pop out in mid-flight. So I've got a little tip now to reinforce that in so that won't happen. It does look like you'll have to drill bigger holes in the servo horn though because uh, they're very small and they don't fit. So I've put plenty of glue on the servo, I'll put that in now. Um, don't be shy with that I don't believe, don't be shy with the glue, stick it in there and uh, we'll just give it a quick wipe to clean any excess off and that won't be coming out control horn set straight up. I haven't set all that up properly just yet which I'll, I'll do um, in my initial setup. I'll let that dry now for overnight I will and that will be stuck in spot. So with the uh, with the control horn that goes into the flap what I've done I've cut myself a, a bigger bit of plastic I'm going to stick that over the control horn to strengthen the whole area that that sits in. So it's highly recommended on quite a few of these builds that I've checked on YouTube. And they say that's a big weak point in this plane 
and you don't want that popping out of course during mid-flight so that'll be the plan I'm just going to put a little mark where the control horn will pop up through and then glue the whole patch down over onto the aileron I believe always don't be shy with your glue you can always clean it up and it's better to have more on there than not enough in my opinion and then stick the whole thing down press it down so the glue spread out evenly and I'm gonna let that sit overnight so that it properly cures and hardens so that's the first wing done now for the second wing I'm not gonna go over that because it's exactly the same process I'm going to be doing for the second one I'll speed that up for you so it's not going to be quite so boring always putting a heap of glue in I don't care about how much you put in just stick it in there so it's better to be safe than sorry two wings I've got sitting now overnight so basically with this one here most of this is already done so the fiberglass tube this is the carbon fiber rod that that strengthens all the wings clips together you've got to make sure that you have 23 to 24 millimeters either side so make sure don't rough it make sure you get a tape measure and measure that so the fuselage has got heaps of room for a flight controller and, and all the all the good stuff. That's the reason why I bought this. So now we'll sit the spar in there. I'm just checking it at the moment how it fits and then we'll glue it all together. And I'll also let that one sit with the wings overnight. So once again, plenty of glue where the rod's gonna sit in. Don't be shy with the amount of glue you put in. Just got to go on each side like that and then what I'll do is put the rod in give it a bit of a spin and then measure both ends to make sure it's exactly 23 to 24 millimeters each side both even so pushing the rod through we'll give it a bit of a spin just to make sure the glue gets right around everything when you glue in there I'll probably even add a little bit more to the top I just like my glue <laughs> clean it up <laughs> so we'll check each end here just to make sure it's even make sure it's spot on because you don't want one hanging out longer than the other and they're pretty good and like I said I'm going to stick a little bit more on top just to be sure so this is like I said this is my first build so I've watched a few videos on the best way to put this together and I'm just going to try and use those videos to my best of knowledge so if anyone has any ideas or anything I can do better please let me know because um, I want to do more builds like this this is the first one I've ever done and it's it's good fun so the tail fins I'm just gonna leave them for the moment I'm gonna glue them on later on I'm gonna go to the motor mount next and the hatch I'm gonna do the hatch put the plastic clips on the hatch and the camera mount so the plastic bag that's got all the clips in it we've got a motor mount there and two clips we'll glue all that together and what I'll do I'll do a separate video for the electronics so this will probably conclude the the frame build at this stage so once again plenty of glue around the, the hatch lock um, these are also your little handles too to open the hatch so they just poke through and just push in and we'll let them glue they're not quite as important as the, the, the wings and all that but yeah plenty of glue still don't be shy and stick it in there what my plan is for this I want to get a pan and tilt um, system put on this on the top of this so I can use head tracking um, so I guess this is going to help screw all that together by putting that in there. So plenty of glue again on that and we'll stick that down and let that cure again overnight too. 
Well, that's pretty much it for the build. That can all go together now. So I'll do another video coming up. That'll be all the electronics, um, the motor mount, the ESC connection, and then we might do, do a bit of a test on the bench here and just make sure everything's running properly. And then a separate video again later will be when we do a, um, a first little flight test. But I don't know whether I'll do that until I get myself uh, a flight controller, GPS, and all the good stuff. I think I'd rather fly it like that first, so we'll see anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next video. Bye.